Uncle Fudd listening in Kentucky. Hey, Uncle Fudd, you're on Free Talk Live. How are you? How are you? You know, I called in a while back. I don't know if you were there, but I think maybe these young men were that that, uh, that I was talking to. And, and one of them tried to engage me in debate. Unfortunately, it was after they had disconnected from me, so it's hard to reply. <laughs> when you uh, when you want to criticize something I said or critique it, that uh, it's hard to up, know who anyway. it was, but perhaps it was oh, Ian. Okay, he's usually it. in the first chair uh, six nights a week. Yeah, he's, he's not he's here not tonight. There tonight but anyway, yeah, that's good. It, 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 that's that's irrelevant. The, the point I was really calling about was about uh, the incredible cosmological changes that the Earth is going through right now. Cosmological. Okay. Okay. Tell us more about those. Uh, Planetary, uh, solar system-wide changes. Yep, I'd like to hear more about that. What do you mean? Um, well, it's uh, it's manifested on this planet a lot of times as earthquakes, uh, volcanoes, um, strange upwellings and uh, uh, falling away of land. Uh, and in the, in the solar system, there's a lot of debris that we see coming down as fireballs. I don't know if you've... Uh, Experienced any of these uh, massive fireballs? I uh, do you mean meteors? Myself, no, no, they're a little different. They're not meteors. Uh, I've uh, uh, I've been a sky watcher all my life. You see, uh, being on the mountaintop, I get a good view without a lot of light. So, but uh, coming back out of Central Tennessee into Central Kentucky, one night we saw twin fireballs come down about two seconds apart, about uh, you know, in an arc. Uh-huh. Less than probably two degrees apart on the same trajectory. <clears throat> they're slow. They're massive. But anyway, that's just one thing. Let's not get hung up on one little detail of fireballs. You can look it up. So, I mean, there's tons of people that see them. Okay. Yeah, and- at, least, at least this year there's been over 300 reports of, fire, of just fireballs, and they are different from meteors. Okay. And so yeah, what about the earthquakes? Is, this, is there an unusual amount of um, tectonic activity, too? Yeah, and the volcanoes. The volcanoes are, are in the in the uh, hundreds now acting up. What they call dormant volcanoes are acting up. But this is a cyclic thing. See, that's the thing that is hidden from us is the fact that these cycles of change happen time and again. So what and, is uh, what is the cause of the cycle? There, there are a lot of causes because, you know, it's like uh, everything as above as below, everything is connected. So you have you have local causes. You have global causes, and you have uh, cosmic causes, and they all seem to coordinate in massive cycles because this debris, all this. Uh, well, what, what would be the cosmic causes of these of these changes? It is uh, a cycles of uh, of um, interaction between Earth and 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 other massive uh, objects. Other than our sun, it's a change in our sun. It's the interaction of our solar system with massive bodies. For instance, Venus came uh, came into our uh, solar system rather of late, and when it went through, it scalped the northern hemisphere of Mars and planted itself in orbit. And uh, but, but Venus and Mars time. are separated by a large gap of space. How did they come well, that well, close? Well, they are now. But I'm telling you that at one time it's what you might call a comet. That went by, and because of the electrical differential, it's a, a lot about electrical differential, and that's how you're going to. Okay, get so this. so this sounds a lot like Emanuel Vilikovsky's work um, from. It has a lot to do with that. Yeah, yeah from the seventies. What is Emanuel? Hold on, let's 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 okay, reset. Brian, Emmanuel what is Vilikovsky is an author. He's a scientist a, from the seventies, well, and he the, pretty much. Book. Hold hold on a minute, Uncle Fed. We want to talk to Brian yeah, about what this is. Yeah, and he theorized that various uh, celestial bodies, you know, that being planet or what would end up being planetoids, had come through and pretty much pay, played a game of galactic billiards inside of our solar system. Uh, and actually, he even attributes this to the moment in the Bible where the sun stands still for a day. Uh, I mean, it explains away a lot of historical context, which I'm sure Uncle Fudd is probably uh, referencing. But so I guess my question that I'm wondering, let's say this whole galactic game of billiards happened and it causes all these changes. Who is trying to hide this from us and why? Well, because it's a, it's a, it's a power. For one thing, you can tell, uh, you know, some of the things they want just from... Uh, their public declarations continually. I have heard so many, so many. But who's they? Who's they? they who's they? Well, for instance, Henry Kissinger saying that he wants to get rid of uh, 
uh, third uh, uh, third world populations, Africa. He, we need the resources, so we have to depopulate it. Okay, so you have a new world like order. Now, why? Why are they hiding these facts? I tell, it's power, son. It's power. Can you imagine if you know and no one else does? Take the Georgia Guidestones. If you want to kill 90%, 95% of the population, then uh, there it is. If they're unprepared. All right, quick, quick, Uncle Fudd, what do we do we to prepare one for left. it? Go. What, what do, do you do, do to prepare do for it? it? What do you do about it? I didn't hear you. That's okay, you we have one minute left. Tell me what I do. Well, you have to uh, you have to raise your own energy. You have to be ready to go to the next level, to the next platform. This What's the next level? Come. It's never a dead end. It's never a dead end. I talked to you this, about this before, about medicine, about energy, about raising your energy, about raising your vibration. Your electric field, your electronic field, your, the field of your body can be increased, and you and you can do that, and it can withstand anything. Radiation, so you're saying we need to illness. ascend? No, I'm saying you need to energize your body. Thanks Talk for the call, Uncle Fudd. Battery. That's about all we have time for right now. Let's go to Myrtle listening in Colorado. Hi, Myrtle. You're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Uh, my name is Virgil. <laughs> oh, Virgil. I'm, I'm sorry. That sometimes, you know, our call screener writes down the names of the people, and <laughs> we got Myrtle, so it was lost in translation. What's on your mind, Virgil? <laughs> okay. Hi, Votes Matter. Okay, I, I, I tuned in when Uncle Fudd was on there. And he, you asked the question, or he said something about cosmic forces affecting the Earth and volcanic activity. This, it's probably not in any book. It's just something I figured out. Uh, okay. The, the cosmic forces that, that he's looking for is solar flares. When solar flares hit the Earth, it affects the electromagnetic field of the Earth. Yep. It draws that energy in to the core to the poles. And that causes aurora borealis and aurora australis or whatever. I can't ever say that word. But it causes those two auroras when that energy is drawn down into the core of the Earth. Uh, no no doubt energy, solar flares, solar activity really affects our lives in very serious ways. Uh, it's very sci- easily scientifically provable ways. And solar flares are a concern at all times, no doubt. Yes, yeah, high energy particles moving through an electromagnetic field, they do induction that that energy is transferred to the core of the Earth, it heats the Earth's core. That mm-hmm. causes the plastic, the, the crust gets soft, and the, the magma comes up through. Yes, Virgil, thanks for the clarification activity. tonight. I appreciate you shedding light on that. Free Talk Live, the Sunday show. More coming up, 855 450 free. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 